Hi everybody, how are you? Jessica Vandenbroek, My Makeup Perv. Um, if you are watching this on the replay, go ahead and comment hashtag replay. You can share this video at any time. Um, and let's do this. So tonight we're doing a wild look, which is not really wild, but it's kind of bold. It's red. So I've never done a red, so I was practicing to see which red I think would look best. And so I think we're going to go with um, Sizzling, which is like a true red. Stubborn is more of like a cherry red. Hey, Corey. Hi, Jada. Okay, so let's do that. But first, primer. And I already did my brows. Use purple splurge cream. It's my favorite right now. I really like it. It's like just the perfect hint of purple. Whoa. How is everybody? Thanks for popping on. Middle of the week. We're almost, we're almost through it. We almost made it. It's a gabillion degrees. Hi, Sheila. I'm sorry, Sheila. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I'm sorry. I'm horrible at pronouncing names, so I try. How are you guys? The darker red? I think so, too. I think it just looks more of like a true red. True red. Okay, so we'll let that set. And then we'll get our face primer on. How are you, Corey? How's everything? I'm almost out of primer. I have a new one. I just don't want to crack it open until this one's like empty. You're okay? It's It was so hot today. Hi, Taylor. I stayed inside for most of it. Hi, Valerie. How is everybody? Hey, Tiffany. I think I'm going to have to throw it. I think it's done. I think it's done. Okay. Add some face primer. How are you guys? Thanks for hopping on. Hi, Araceli. So, how are you, Taylor? How is everything? Ashley. Hi, you guys. Yes, I agree. Some days can. Okay. So we'll let that set. We're just going to let all the primers set. I already did my brows. I used Rapturous Splurge Cream with a Brow Artist Brush. And then I used concealer to like clean it up. How are you, Ashley? Okay. So we got all that on. Now, let's go in with a transition shade. I'm going to go really light for this transi transition shade because I don't want it to be too... I don't want it to stand out too much. I got to wipe my concealer off my hand. So, so on your end too. So I'm going to go in with a stoot here, which is the lighter of the brown. I usually use gingerly, but we'll do a stoot tonight. And then just a fluffy brush. For some reason, I think I might have dropped my palette or just moving it from like vendor, between vendor events, but my, my color cracked. I'm sorry, you guys. I hope your day gets much better. Well, it's nighttime. So I hope your evening finishes off good and then your day starts out great. Oh no. Oh no. I had a nicked a uh, little bit of black splurge grain all over my finger and got it all over my eye. Okay, moving on. So this is just a really, almost like a nude color. Which is really nice for a transition shade because it's not too bright and not too bold. Just soft. Something to add the color to. And then we're going to go in with... I'm trying to think what we're going to add first. So I'm going to take that red in Stubborn, which is... Or excuse me, Sizzling, which is a Splash Liquid Lipstick. And I'm just going to take a Splurge Cream Shadow Brush and we're going to start adding that into the crease a little bit so we can blend that out. So I'm just going to kind of dab that on there. And it's a liquid lipstick, you guys, so it's like creamy when you use it as a shadow. Okay. We're just going to dab that in there. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Michelle. It's not telling me when people are popping on. Oh, there it goes. Hi, Michelle. Good evening. Thanks for coming on. 
I've been using this red a lot. So these are on sale right now. Some of the colors, specific colors actually, are on sale on my website, which is in the comments or in the description. How are you? Um, for like 50% off. And I think either this one or the stubborn is on 50% off. I'm not sure yet. How are you, Jessica? So we're just putting this in the crease for now because we're going to blend that out and up. So I'm going to grab my crease brush. Hi, Tony. How is everybody? It's the middle of the week. We're almost there. I got glue on everything last night, you guys. Everything. Everything has glue on it. So I'm just taking my crease brush and we're going to start blending. Okay. So we're just blending up. Stubborn. Thank you. I have that one too. Oh, I must have something dark in my... Yeah, stubborn. Stubborn is more like a cherry red. Good, Jessica. Hi, Erica. It's a brighter red, but it's more like it's like a cherry red. I don't know how to explain that. I gotta fix my brush because I'm turning it my eye colors. How are you? You're awake. You caught my life. So exciting. I notice like I do these lives and then um I'll like go to take a picture and I'll have like makeup all over my shirt everywhere. I'm like, oh, it's attractive. Yeah, I had a dark color in my brush, you guys. This is why, this is why you have to clean your brushes. <laughs> I should be cleaning it. I don't have an excuse not to have a brush cleaner. I should be doing it, right? Oh my goodness, Jessica. All right, so it's gonna be kind of a maroon look. Hi, Brianna. Stubborn, stubborn's a good one. I know, I'm getting messy. It's okay, I'll fix it. Hi, Elton. It looks kind of crazy right now, right? It's okay. Isn't it fantastic? Oh my gosh, I, I'm so glad you love it. I think it's so awesome because it literally like does not drench your brushes. So you just clean them off and then they're dry and you can use them right away, which is totally awesome. I gotta calm this down a little bit, you guys. I got a little crazy. Right off the bat getting crazy. I had like a really dark color in there. Hi, Nesha. Is it Nisha? I'm sorry. I'm bad with names. I'm sorry. Sorry. So sorry. I'm just kind of taming this down just a little bit. Yes. I still have one more too. I don't know. I'm debating on if I need to keep it myself. Okay, we're gonna cover all that up, it's okay. Hi, Amanda. How is everybody? Thanks for watching. Go ahead and share when you're popping on. Say hi, tell me where you're watching from, how you guys are doing. Hey, Joe. Man, we are getting crazy. Okay, well, don't mind me. <laughs> Just having a little bit of issues. Clean your brushes, guys, clean your brushes. This is what happens. Let's uh, let's try that a little bit better. Good, I know who. I'm so excited for you. Okay, so let's go in with just a dab, just a little dab. Thank you for sharing. Uh, magnificent in the crease here. Oh, there's a staple in there, guys. I swear my desk was a mess last night. How are you? After I was done. Doing that crazy look. It's so funny because sometimes I'm like, okay, I could pull off like doing some like pretty awesome looks. And then when it comes to simple things like this, like I, I get all crazy with it. I don't know what it is. And I'm going to spray my other brush real fast before uh go back in and blend it out with that. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> it's one of those nights. It's one of those nights. How are you? Thanks, Jada. You guys are awesome. I appreciate the share so much. Let me grab a piece of napkin or paper towel. I got to clean this brush off really fast just because it 
is definitely has color on it that I don't want right now. Oh yeah. Sorry, sorry. There, see, it's all new. Look at that, ugh. Okay, hi Gabriella. So we will blend out that darker color, the black magnificent splurge cream that are all, all the splurge creams are on sale right now and some of the splash liquid lipsticks are too, you guys. So if you are interested in those, go ahead and check it out on the website. The link is in the description. So much better. Thank you. I think it turned out pretty good. This one, we'll get there. Now I gotta figure out which one. Okay, sizzling. Tonight we're just gonna do a, a red eye. I just do um, a vote. So we did a vote between a gold and a red eye and tonight it looks like we're gonna do this red eye, which I've never done before. Put red eye shadow up there. Um, so we'll see how it goes. And I'm so happy because I just got my brand new liquid dip and draw. So my my eyeliner should be a little bit easier to work with. Instead of the older one. Hey Linda. Yeah, so tonight we're just playing. Just playing with makeup. Let you guys vote. This was the vote. The red look one, the red eye. And tonight is one of those nights where you just can't get things going right. Hi, Amanda. How are you, Linda? You ever have those nights or those days where it's like everything is just a little too crazy? It's just a little too crazy. We're going to blend that out so we can get it to look a little, a little less. No, it's been one of those days all day today. It was like I just couldn't like get things to cooperate. You have a challenge for me, Amanda? Tell me about it. Do I get to know what it is? Can I agree to it after I know? Hi, Amanda. You gotta tell me what it is first. We don't get, we don't go do all crazy, crazy. Ooh, like for like carpet tunnel. I will totally do that. I was afraid you were going to say something really scary or crazy. <laughs> yes. Hi, Crystal. Okay. I will. I'll do it. Challenge accepted. I don't have one on me right now. Hi, how are you, Gabriella? So, we'll have to get one. And then we'll do it. Deal? Kind of looks like I have black eyes, you guys. I'm having issues with this tonight. I'm just going to have to leave it. Okay, let's get the red underneath. Get the sparkle on the anaconas and get the wings on. We're just going to move right on. Hi, Amy. Yes. Okay. So just got a little tiny flat brush, and we're just going to add that red right underneath here. I know. My hair is a mess. It does not know what color it wants to do. I have parts that are, like, super bright pink, and then parts that are, like, kind of red and kind of yellow. I'm like, okay. I'm kind of, I'm over the pink only because it like bleeds everywhere all the time. It drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. Hi, Tiana. Got a better deal you can do now. A better deal? Hi, Cheryl. How did the halo eye come out? Which one? What do you mean? Halo eye. I didn't do a halo eye. I did 
a crazy look last night and I did um, a cut crease which uh, I think that I need to really practice that one because that one turned out horrible. I mean, it wasn't like horrible, horrible, but it was kind of crazy. Halo eyes, on the other hand, I have a lot of fun doing because they're kind of fun. Yes, my live last night was, yeah, the cut crease. The live last night was awesome. Take a shirt or something and wrap around your hand and rest and all back in with this stuff. You want me to do it right now? Is that what you're telling me? How about, I don't have anything, I'm in my office. How about Friday? We'll do it Friday, how about that? Block them, why? What's happening? I'm so confused. Okay, so we'll add a little bit of that and then we're gonna take a little bit more of uh, Magnificent. And we're going to add that to the, a little bit underneath also, and then we'll kind of blend it out. It's got to be tonight. I can't do it tonight. I have in my, my, in my makeup room, and I don't have anything in here to do that with. Unfortunately. Let's get our eyeliner on. And then before we do anything else, we're gonna add our color to the inside corner. I blocked her only because she doesn't have a profile picture and I was kind of getting a little weirded out <laughs> getting a little weirded out okay anyways let's keep going so we're gonna go in with a gentle in the inside corner here it's not looking too bad it really makes my eyes the blue eyes like crazy Crazy is like my word tonight, I guess. So this is Gentle Press Shadow. It is one of my favorite highlighters to use. You can grab a pan by itself. Really? She was with you too? That is weird. That's kind of weird. Okay, yes, I did. Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate that. <laughs> I get a lot of... Um, not not really too much, but I do get some crazy stuff every now and then. Hi, Mary. Bless and release. Bless and release. Yep. I send them to Block Island. Okay. So, there's that. Let's get our wing on. Yeah, she didn't have a picture. It was same thing. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you sounds like a little maybe a little wackadoo it's all right sometimes we get those all right man it's so nice to have a brand new fresh eyeliner yeah that's what she said too I wonder why that's like a thing oh well I mean I'm up for a challenge but not if you're gonna be a weirdie. Just got a little bit of eyeliner in my eye. Weird, weird. Anyways, how's everybody's Wednesday? How are you doing, Tiana? It's weird when people don't have, um, 
they really do. Hi, Samantha. When they don't, when um, they don't have profile pictures, it gets a little weird. And I wasn't paying attention to that at first. They really do. It's like amazing. And I've been, I was using the same one for like probably too long, but I really just wanted to use it, like use it out. And it was getting harder and harder to do. And then I just cracked open this one yesterday and I was like, oh my goodness, Jessica, why were you putting yourself through that? Oh, wow. Nice. Relaxing. Enjoying your night. Love it. I don't know if you guys follow some of my stories and things that I post about. But I have baby goats. Oh, nice. Thanks, Gabri Gabriella. That's so cool. <laughs> Tell me the dates. Hi, Ashley. Um, so I have goats. I want to tell you guys a story real fast. I have goats, and they're having babies. And in a matter of, like, a week, I had two babies disappear. Hi, Ashley. And, um... Usually, it's like negligence on the mother's part. Ooh, look at the eyes. They look good, huh? That looks good. It looks good. Okay, I like it. I like red. Yes, baby goats. So, um, I was usually, like, I've had to go searching over the years for goats because the mom, like, forgets them. They lay down in a field or something, and the mom forgets them, and then they get lost. How are you? And so, I just, like, go on a little hunt and find them and bring them home, and then like yell at the mom goat to tell her to be a better mom, you know, things like that. Anyways, <laughs> so I had two go missing and I was like searched everywhere on my property for them. Hi, Holly. And, um, didn't find them. So after like a few hours, I try to find them like within like a certain amount of hours, because if I don't, chances are they're probably not going to make it because we have coyotes and there's a train and just it's hot and they're babies they need to like eat every certain hours and things like that right so we had one go missing and I looked everywhere and couldn't find it then we had another one go missing and I looked everywhere and I couldn't find it so then yesterday Deanna got up super early to go to work and said that all the goats and I have like 20 goats you guys all the goats were sitting on my front porch and there was a giant coyote like 30 feet from my door and it was like it was like um like a wave of goats so it was like all the babies were up against the house and then all of the moms were trying to protect the babies and then all of the male goats because i have like five six maybe i don't know i have to count them were on the like front line like getting ready okay and so um they were all screaming and my chickens were freaking out i live on a ranch farm if you guys can't tell um but apparently there was like this giant coyote coming up came all the way up to almost my door which is like really really close so, I have a feeling that the baby goats may have been eaten or captured, which is really sad. But, now we know. And then I had another goat go missing today, and I went and looked for it and found it, thank goodness. But, now I'm worried. I'm like, I told Dan we need to get a llama or an alpaca because I heard that they are really good herd protectors. <laughs> like, we need to get one of those so that they'll protect all the goats and chase all the bad stuff away. Hi, Brittany. What do you guys think of this red eye? I like it, look at how blue my eyes look. I didn't think that red would do that to my eyes, but that's pretty cool. I kind of feel like I could be like vampire-ish. I know, right? Isn't that sad? How are you, Brittany? Hi, Stephanie. So, yeah, I need to get something. And my goats just kind of roam because I have so many. They're like a giant herd. And they like keep the grass down and things like that. They will. And also hawks. We have big hawks out here. And I've seen a hawk come down and attack one of my chickens and try to take my chicken. And the rooster attacked the hawk, which was good. Yeah, yes. 
thank you and so I was like well at least the roosters like kind of doing its job because they're supposed to like keep it ear like alert and like pay attention right I know I'm so weird you guys I'm all talking about my animals I can't help it I love animals so much it's like my thing it's my thing I love them but yeah so I'm kind of worried because that was a really big coyote I mean it was the size of my dog and my dog's like a good good size medium size he's like a he's like a husky mix thank you yes you did get it awesome I'm so excited I can't wait for you to try it you're gonna have to tell me about it and the mascara why so many goats well we started with a couple and then they multiplied um, and then we live on 18 acres so instead of having to like mow all of it <laughs> they can like the goats and stuff take care of that yes get some chickens get some chickens they're they're cool I really like my chickens okay let me see if I can clean some of this off. I need like an actual palette instead of my hand. Now I'm like at the makeup part and I can't do it. Put it, put my makeup on. Yes, chickens are awesome. Thank you. So, um, yeah, they just kind of eat all the dead grass and like keep, keep up on like, that way we don't have to like really mow. I don't want to mow. And I just love them. They're pygmy goats. So I, I'm doing this new thing with my foundation, which it's gonna look really crazy for a second, okay? But I use this like silicone blending bud and I just like put all the product on there. And then I like to use like a damp beauty blender and blend it out. And I like the way that it's been sitting on my skin better that way. So that's how we're gonna do it tonight. And we already primed at the beginning. I always prime it first at the beginning because otherwise I'll probably forget. Like I'll just throw on my makeup and be like, oh, oh yeah. Probably should have primed that. Okay. I know. It looks crazy. I know. And then we just blend. Blend, blend, blend. I just like this look a little bit better, the finished look of this, when I do it this way. So, yeah. Doesn't hurt to try new things, right? Anyways, do you guys have animals? If I went on with my list of animals, you guys would probably think I'm like, my friend used to call me Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> Dr. Doolittle. I might have to get a different shade. My color is like so crazy lately. It's like, I don't know if it's just like because my skin is tan so fast or what is going on. I don't know. My hair, I don't know what it is. I don't know. But now I'm starting to think that this color does not, it's not working out either. Okay, so we'll add that on there. Get that all blended out. Four kittens and a cat, and the cat's pregnant. Oh, what kind of dog? I love dogs. I have kittens too. I have barn cats. Hi, Megan. Three dogs, Jack Russell, Chihuahua, Pomeranian. Oh, I love dogs. That's so cute. I used to have a um, a Chihuahua and a Dash Hound mix. A Chihuini. That's what we called him. So, is your one that is mixed with? Oh, a Pomeranian mix. Is that one fluffy? Pit, pit mix and a bully pit. Oh, I love bully pits. They're so cute. I have a pig, a pot belly. <laughs> His name is Harlow. He sleeps in my house. <laughs> it's, too, it's too scary out there for him. He's got like no defense either. Pigs have no defense. I feel so bad for him. And he kind of just kind of free ranges all over the yard. I have one main king cat. Oh, how cool. Oh, over to market. That's so funny. That's my, that's my market. A lot of people drop cats off right there in that market. I don't know what it is. My friend just caught like four cats running around in the parking lot the other day. Oh, 12.
Oh, that's so sweet. He came out my mama. Oh, they are gorgeous. They are. That's so crazy. I don't know why people do that. It makes me so mad. It makes me so mad, you guys. We're not even going to get into people dropping off animals right now. Can't do it. Okay. So, I still feel like that's a little patchy in some spots. I'm just going to rub it out a little bit. I don't do really thick makeup. I don't like to do like really thick. Crazy. Yes. Um, they still have a few and they, yeah, they definitely did have to. I want, I sometimes wonder because they did have a lot of cats the last time I was there. If part of that is the fact that they have cats and if their cats are like breeding somewhere. Okay. Let's move on. We'll move on to concealer, but I mean, it's a possibility because I've had a lot of people um, have to get animals from that parking lot, that area recently. Little kittens too. So I don't know. I don't know. We have a dog named Hunter and he is a husky mix. I don't know what he's mixed with. And he also has um, like a super short tail, okay? So his tail, normal huskies, they curl. His is just like long and, and short. It's like this big. So I don't know, hi Amy, I don't know what, if he's mixed with something that made his tail like that or if he got into an accident when he was tiny, tiny baby. I don't know, but he showed up on the property one day, somebody dumped him on the levee. And so um, he just came trotting up and we've had him ever since. I put a post, I put up signs and advertised for him everywhere. And I guess somebody before me found him and he escaped from them. And when I contacted them to find out if they had made any leeway in um, finding the owners, they blocked me. So I was like, oh, okay. So I just kind of tried to find them on my own and stuff. And then nobody ever claimed them. And we've had them for three years now. <laughs> He's a good dog. And I really love him. And then we have three Boston Terriers, which I love so much. They're so cute. Husky Wolf Mix. Ooh, pretty. I used to um, live in a neighborhood and this guy would always walk his uh, wolf dog. And it was this giant, giant dog. And when I was younger, I was like five maybe. And he was huge. I loved him. He was gorgeous. Beautiful dog. Beautiful dog. I really, really loved him. And I really wanted one too. They're so cool. I wanted to get um, French Bulldogs because I think they're very, very cute. And I love them, but they're also very expensive and they have a lot of health problems, but so do Boston Terriers, really. Um, so we ended up just settling on a Boston Terrier many, many years ago. So we have our Boston Terriers. Yes, they do. Yes, they definitely do. Excuse me. They burped. And then we have a pig, pot belly, Vietnamese pot belly. So he's like... 250, 300 pounds probably. He's probably four feet long. Five feet, maybe? No, four feet. I wouldn't say he's five feet. Three and a half. I don't know. I don't know. I've never really measured him. But he's very, very awesome. He is potty trained and super smart. Pigs are very smart. So, got Harlow. And then I have like six chickens. We used to have more, but I think some were taken by the coyotes also. And then we have like 18, 19 goats, maybe more, I'm not sure. And then four ponies. And barn cats. And that's about it, I think. Oh my gosh, I wanna see pictures. How cute. They are so cute. I love them. They're just they're just cute. I love them so much. Crunchies. And then I also, Michelle, what you have, the, the bully pits, the little, they're like little, right? They're like mini pit bulls. I want one of those. They're so cute. That's alright. I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. Hi, Katie. Yes, so... I love dogs. When I was growing up, we always had cats. Cats. I said that weird. 
Um, gosh, I have like red everywhere. Um, we always had cats and I always wanted a dog, but we just couldn't do it. So we ended up always having cats. And then when I moved out, I was like, all right, I'm going to get a dog. And then I have, yes, <laughs> I know, right? It's like a mini zoo, like a petting zoo. Although a lot of them are not friendly because we just kind of let them do their own thing. Not, not friendly, but they like, they do not like to be pet very much. Hi, Katie. Okay. So we did our concealer. We got our setting powder on. Let's get some color back in our face. I'm feeling kind of washed out right now, especially with these like super bold eye. It always looks like I have makeup in my hair right here. And then I'm like, even when I wash my hair, it's still there. So I'm like, okay, it's just, it's just yellow. It's just the color washing out of my face. I mean, out of my hair. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with bronzer. This comes in the actual kit, but this is the color Malibu. I think sunset comes in the kit and you get a splash in the kit also, but don't forget the splashes are on sale right now. They're like 50% off on select colors. So you guys got to check that out. Hi Tara. How are you? And I've been going a little bit higher like on my actual cheekbone with my bronzer and then blending it down into the shallow of my cheek shallow shadow shallow whatever i'm trying to say okay so we just do like lines first and then i go right around this like corner of my head right here corner of the forehead and i stay really i try to stay really close to my hairline I don't like to bring my my bronzer or my contour down too far okay and then we'll just go along the cheek I mean the jaw here how are you Katie thanks for hopping on tonight and then I just blend it down my neck just blend it down because we don't want that we want that darkness there but we don't want a line there yeah And then sometimes I'm like, okay, maybe it's just my lighting because I'm wearing a black shirt. It's crazy. Okay, and then I like to do a couple more things. So I grab whatever, pick up a tiny bit on my brush and go, go right underneath my lip here. Okay, it gives a little bit more of a pouty appearance. And then I grab my brush and make it really, really thin. And pick up a little bit and put that right on my nose for my contour here on my nose. Okay? And that is what we do. That's what we do. Okay, and then we blend, 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 blend. And I just do like circular motions. I don't know if that's the accurate way to do it, but so I do it. Hi, is it Josley? How are you? Good, I'm glad you're doing good. Good, it was so hot today. I hope you're staying cool. It's getting kind of warm in my trailer too. And when I say trailer, I mean my office. Okay. All right, we're getting a little bit of color back. Let's go ahead. Ooh, these blushes are on sale right now too on my website. So let's go with this one because this is like my favorite color. This is supported. I don't know if this one's on the website anymore. I don't think so. It was in a bundle when I got mine. So I don't think this one's actually on the website. But these are awesome because they have like a little built-in highlight in there also. And it's very light. I like it. I like light, light blushes just because I'm kind of new to the blush wearing game. Get some color. Okay. Now let's do the highlight and I'm going to use um, gentle again because I love it so, so much. So I just grab like a little circle brush. Strong palette. So many palettes. So many palettes. Okay. So I just pick up, like I just barely like tap in there, just like that, barely pick up any. And then I just brush that right along my, my cheek there. See, I'm like, I'm like tapping it. Otherwise it's gonna be like crazy amounts of highlight. Look at how good that highlight it works though. Like press shadow as highlight, yes, yes, yes. Grab a little bit more because why not? Okay. And then we'll blend that a little bit. Mm 
Yes, it's my favorite. It's my favorite. Okay, and then we'll add our sh our highlight everywhere else. Hold on, let me clean this brush a little bit. It has all the red lipstick in it. And I don't want to get that on my face. And then which hottie lip plumper should we do tonight? Should we do like a red or a brown or a, a mauve? What color should we do? The red doesn't really look red on me. It's more of like a hot pink is what it feels like. Perfect. Okay. That one's good. I'll show you in a second. So I did that. Let's get that highlight on there. And I'm just barely tapping in again because it is very, very pigmented. As you can see there. <laughs> I made the mistake the first time I did it and I like swiped it, like grabbed a whole bunch and it, um, it was a little bit too much. Brown. Okay. Let's do brown. That's the Holly Megan. And I love that one. That's a good one. Let's add a little bit more in here. I love highlight, guys. I didn't know what it was at first before, but I do love it now. Oh. See what happened? You can see me from space with this stuff. Went a little, I don't like to go like up too high. I still don't know how to do the nose part yet, but we'll get there. It's a good one. It's a good one. Okay. Just blend that line right there. Woo! So pretty, pretty. Okay. So this is the lip plumper in my bundle right now. This is the Holly Megan. It's like a chocolate brown. Um, you can see that. And I really like it a lot, actually. It's a little bit lighter on my lips. It's just like a nice gloss. But it's a lip plumper, so it's a little, little tingly. But it doesn't like burn or anything like that. Me with my itty bitty lips, I'm like, I'll take it. I will handle a little bit of ting tingling. It's really not bad though, you guys. I can't stand the lines either, so bear with me. See, it's like nice. It's not too much. Pop that in the purse, apply it all day long, have nice plump lips. It's great. It's awesome. Okay, there we go. Let me wipe some of this off. I'm making a giant mess. So do I. Especially my top lip. It like, it's never there. It's never there. I hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it, but I wish it would be more pronounced. Oh, thank you. I'm still live, Holly, but thank you so much. I'm sorry that your Wi-Fi is no good, but thank you. What do you guys think? This red eye is awesome. I love it. It like really makes my blue eyes pop, which I didn't know that red would do. So that's, you learn something new every day. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, we're going to have to definitely work on this foundation shade because I don't think it's my color anymore. It's starting to look a little different. But there you go. Thank you guys so much for popping on tonight. If you have any questions, you can drop them below. You can message me. Please feel free to share, comment, hashtag replay if you're watching this on the replay. Thanks, Gabriella. Good pick on the lips too. I like it with this eye. Looks good. I saw like powder right here. Did I not wipe that powder off? Oh, let's spray it. Let's set it. Now it's going to stay all day long. 
All right, you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful night. I probably won't be on tomorrow because I have an event that I have to go to for the farmer's market. So if you're local, you can come out and see me. Thanks, Katie. Um, other than that, I hope you all have a great night. And I will talk to you all soon.